When you have ADHD, notifications and reminders can be a total catch-22. They can be really, really helpful, but they can also be extremely distracting. I found some really great hacks that will allow you to get the reminders that you need without having them distract you. So we're gonna be talking about three great hacks for setting up reminders for yourself, as well as three to help deter the notification overwhelm. So let's just get started. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe for more content and check out all of my offers below, including my brand new course, Simplify Your Digital Life, which is all about organizing your computer. I absolutely love how it turned out, so I hope you guys check it out. Okay, let's start with hack number one. Setting up some sort of alarm um, that's not on your phone to set reminders and notifications. So. For example, I have an Amazon Alexa. I've used Amazon Alexa for many years. I really like it. It allows me to hook it up with my ring so I know if someone's at the door, I can ask it to play music. But one of my favorite things about my Amazon Alexa is that it actually has a reminder option. So a lot of people have asked me how I set this up. You have to go to the Amazon Alexa app and I'm gonna walk that through with you right now to set that up. So go to your Amazon Alexa app and then go to where it says more on the bottom and you're going to find the area that says reminders. You can see here when I click on it, I already have two set up, but I want to make a new one. So just click the plus. You're going to remind it. This is actually what it's going to say out loud. So for example, if I wanted to do one, um, if I want to remind myself to meditate every day, you can choose either a time or location. I usually choose a time and then you can decide if you want to repeat. You can repeat multiple times a day or maybe once a week. That's what I do for the other one, but I want to do daily. So I switched over to daily and you can pick a time. I don't want to do 1130. I want to do 830 uh, because that's when I would meditate and then um, set a reminder for me. And then that's it. You click save. And now tomorrow morning at 830 AM, I will get a reminder to meditate and that's it. That's all you do. So one of the things that I use my Amazon Alexa for is um, I announce to the entire house at 6.30 p.m. on Mondays that I need to bring the garbage out. This is super helpful because I forget it every single time, so it reminds me. And then also to bring it back inside because I can get fined by my HOA if I don't bring it back in by a certain time. So then Tuesday nights, I have an alarm. I prefer this to the Apple ones because it actually announces it out loud. So Apple does have reminders that kind of pop up, but this is actually a very loud announcement telling me and reminding me to do that. So I highly recommend this if you forget something and maybe there's a weekly thing you have to do, or maybe it's just something to remind you, hey, it's time to meditate, or hey, it's time to you know, take your meds, whatever it is. Having the Amazon Alexa say it out loud is to me much better than having some sort of notification pop up on your phone. Okay, my next hack, hack number two, is actually syncing your Amazon Alexa with your calendar. What's cool about this is that actually about 10 minutes before every meeting I have, it reminds me because sometimes I'll be deep in my work and then I don't want to miss a meeting. So 10 minutes before my meeting, I get a really loud Amazon Alexa notification reminder that's like, hey, you have a meeting with this person in 10 minutes. And I have definitely almost missed meetings, um, but because of this system, I haven't. So I highly recommend setting this up. I will also walk through right now how to set that up with your Google Calendar on the Amazon Alexa app. So for this one, you're gonna click on Calendar in the More area, and you can see it's already hooked up, but if you wanna add a calendar, go to the Settings up in the top, and you're gonna click where it says Add Account. You can see mine's already added, but you just click that plus sign, and then you can add your Google or Microsoft or Apple account. That is it. Once it's synced, it'll automatically add all of your, uh, you know, your your events or that sort of thing to your calendar and it will automatically say it out loud. Now the last setting that I highly recommend doing is if you do have some sort of phone, um, I do enjoy the reminder apps like on Apple or on Android. Um, specifically with Apple, I like to do daily reminders. Um, for example, to go on a walk or to take again my medication um, and setting those up so that it tells you at a certain time. I prefer to do this rather than putting it on my Google Calendar uh, because it allows me to save room in my calendar for actually booking certain things that I want. If you haven't set up Apple reminders before, another thing you could do is you can create almost categories. So you could almost use my 13 pillar system within Apple reminders to kind of get a sense of, okay, this is like a home thing that I need to do. Going through and figuring out ways that you can do this for yourself. Another thing that I am going to be doing a video on in the future is using NFC tags as uh, sort of automation tools. You can hold your phone up to it and get reminders. For example, one of the ones I want to set up is in my laundry room um, where I hold my phone up to the NFC tag and it starts a 30-minute 
uh, countdown so that it reminds me to get my laundry out. Stuff like that. I'm hoping to do a whole video on NFC tags. I've been wanting to do a video on it for like a year, but I finally have some ideas for it and I'm going to make it soon. So that's another tip. Okay, so those are my three hacks for reminders. Let's talk a little bit about notification overwhelm and how to kind of remove that as well. Notifications can be extremely distracting, especially when we're trying to be focused. Maybe we're trying to do some deep work and your phone's just going off and constantly taking you out. So I found some really good hacks for this and I taught them at my, uh, my live training I did. You can actually sign up for the replay below. I, I was talking about it and people were so interested in this. And so I thought, hmm, that's actually what inspired this video is I was like, I haven't done a video on this. So there's a couple different options you can do, especially if you're on an iPhone. Again, I'm more of an iPhone user, so I'm gonna be talking more about that. The first thing that I mentioned is my box. This is a box that locks your iPhone up for a certain amount of time, and it allows you not to use it. Now, I don't know about you, but I get very, very distracted by my phone. I'll just start watching TikTok videos, and sometimes I'm like, all right, I legitimately need to tell myself to stop, and I can't, so I use this. So this is my first, um, thing that you can do is you can have this and it helps you avoid distractions. So that's the first one. But then the two others I wanted to talk about is this. The first is changing the focus modes and the scheduled summary on your phone. Now, if you have an iPhone, one of the coolest things about it is a couple of years ago, they came out with this new feature where instead of getting notifications immediately, you can delay them and have them come at certain times. So you go to the settings of your phone and I'll walk you through that, but basically you turn on something called scheduled summary. When you have the scheduled summary, you can actually get all your notifications at once, maybe on the hour. I've set it up for about six or seven times per day getting notifications and you can set it up so that individual apps either co come immediately or they come delayed. This is so helpful because then you're not getting random notifications at 322. You can get wait till four, especially if it's not super um, needed or it's not super like um, important. Obviously there's certain apps that you're gonna need timely, like for example, text messages. You don't want, maybe wanna schedule those on the hour, but maybe it's a Snapchat notification or an Instagram notification. You don't need that immediately. You can wait 30 minutes for that to come on the hour. So stuff like that is really, really helpful for allowing you to stay focused. There's also different modes on the iPhone. You've probably seen this like work mode, focus mode, driving mode, sleep mode. Um, those are also helpful to set up if you want, because then you can add certain apps that are allowed to be set up during that time. So that's a really, really important step. And the last one, this is probably the most important one, is for me, instead of having my, my emails turned on and getting every single email from every single subscription that I have, whatever, I've recently split my inbox into two. I now have two separate emails. One is just for newsletters and things that come on a regular basis. And the other is for emails that are important that I'm you know, talking with people one-on-one. -on -one. And what I've done is I've actually removed uh, the newsletter one from my phone. I can only access it from my computer. And so I'm not getting random um, emails throughout the day with something that's basically a newsletter that I don't, that's not super necessary for me to check. So my number of email notifications has gone down dramatically. And I teach all of this and how to do this in my new course, Simplify Your Digital Life, which you can grab for just $27. It just came out um, last week and I absolutely love how it turned out. I teach the 13 pillar system and it's a really great program to organize not just your email, but your files, your photos, anything that you wanna organize into the 13 pillars. So when I decided to change and move all of my newsletter emails to a separate um, inbox, it really, really helped my notifications on my phone. So now when I get a notification that I get an email, I know it's something important and it's not just a random newsletter. So I hope that these six tips helped you, these six hacks, helping you get more reminders as well as getting less distracting notifications. Let me know what other videos you wanna see and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.